rose polish remover. This is crazy because it's a polish remover that doesn't have acetone in it and it's paraben free, so free of any nasties. So if you have like sensitive skin, you really don't want to dry out your skin with acetone, then this is a great option. I'm just going to put some on a tissue here. And remove it. I have to be careful, I'm not going to remove my other polish. So pop a little bit on the tissue. Ta da! I mean, that's kind of crazy to me that it comes off without acetone. Ta da! But I'm going to use that as well to clean up around my cuticles if I get any polish on my cuticles. So just wait for that. Pop that there. Put this back and satisfying little snap. Let's go back to this. Mm, because I'm dealing with some of that bumpy nail glue that I'm trying to get off, I'm just going to use this one again. I'm going to lay it flat like this. See how it's bringing up all the glue? Just be very careful. I wouldn't use this one on your natural nail, so I'm only going to use it where the glue is. See? Because I want my nail to look nice and smooth underneath the polish, especially the thing is with metallic polish, it's not very, like, oh, there you go. Yeah, that's coming off. Nail glue is hectic, you guys. Hold on. I'm not looking at the comments right now. I really need to focus on this. There you go. That's coming off. That's really handy that this tool has this one as well, this bit. Just be very careful. Again, this does not hurt at all, but just use a very light hand. So I'm trying to make sure my nail's nice and smooth. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's better. You can see that the glue is all off now. Silly me, I should have paid more attention. So sorry, everyone. I'm just going to get rid of that because that's nasty. I don't like that. All that dust. Okay. Oh my gosh, broke it. Oh, there we go. And then I'm going to go back to this one and just sand it again. Oh my gosh, I'm, I can't tell you, I've been using this so much I almost need to get more bits because I've been using this product for like two or three months now and I can't do my nails without it. It really is amazing, especially for the cuticles and making sure that they're like perfect. People always ask me, how do I get my cuticles look that perfect? It's this tool. So don't miss out on that. Mm, one last time with this one. Make sure you get this fancy thing. I'm probably going to buy myself another one because if I ever, like, don't have this in my life, I'm going to be really sad. Just buff, buff, buff. Buff, buff, buff. Ta-da. Now, that should be good. Let's go back to the nail polish. Just clean the nail. Look at that. Look at that. That is so, so good. Okay. Now, back to the Emily Heath polish. Maybe I'll actually pin this one. This is 